to this video um today is monday um september 21st 2020 um i i'm here outside the clinic today we're gonna find out if my pregnancy is viable or not um I'm very nervous and scared. Actually, I was being hopeless. But I'm still hoping, you know. We prayed last night, me and my husband. We've been waiting for this for five years. And we were very happy when we found out that I'm pregnant and I got a positive beta and pregnancy test and now we have to deal with this I'm still hoping that it's still a good news um it's kind of early still it's just 6 37 since I'm on my leave I don't have to work I dropped off my husband to his work. That's why I'm here early. My appointment is at 7.30. But I decided to just drive after I drop my husband off. I'm just gonna wait out here. I have all my medication. I left my progesterone suppository at home. Because I'm not sure if I'm going to still need it after the result. Um, so yeah, I'm going to share everything with you. I'm going to let you know what the result is. I know you've been praying for us and you're part of our journey. And you have the right to know. And we're very happy to share everything with you, even the bad, and of course, the good ones. So, as of right now, the office is still closed. I'm still sleeping. I hope I can take a nap in here while I'm waiting. Um, I have to do a lot of chores after this because I've been on bed rest. So, the house is a disaster. Very dirty. Nobody's cleaning. My husband, he always work. And the bad thing is he has a gout. And he has a gout attack again since last night. So it's very hard when he has that because he's not able to walk. And then later on, he'll get a fever and he's not able to do anything. Then I'm worrying about his health. He's losing a lot of weight. But what can I do? After he experienced all of that, he start eating a lot of bad foods again. He's just stubborn. Men are stubborn, right? Mm. But um, he was about to call off from work. Um, but I told him that I set an appointment for him to have prescription for the gout. He doesn't have health insurance. 
so no benefits we're gonna pay out of pocket um that's what we did before the gout went away for like how many months and then now it's worse maybe you need to have a maintenance medication that's what we're gonna ask later in his appointment because I'm pretty sure he can never avoid eating bad foods so it's better for him to have medication right because it's hard whenever he has a gout it's affecting both of our lives it's not good and sometimes he still go to work and it's not good because his co-worker and patients are affected as well so enough with that let's go towards the IBF what am I gonna do if there's no baby what am I gonna do? Of course, my mind keeps telling me that. Just move on. You know, have a DNC or take the medication, whatever they want you to do. And wait and transfer again. But still, I have to go through the process. How can I be strong? How can I stay positive? I'm like this because I'm not feeling anything in here. So that's why I'm 80% negative thinker right now because I can feel it. Um, I mean, I don't feel anything, no changes. That's why I kind of know that there's nothing here. Please don't judge. I might be wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Oh my gosh. I hope I'm wrong. I'll be so happy if I'm wrong. So anyway, if I'm pregnant, for sure, we're gonna start over. We're gonna apply things that we learned from when we found out. So I'm just waiting for them to open. Right now, I'm just gonna try to take a nap. Because here at the clinic, there's no signal, no data. I cannot do Facebook or text. Text is kind of hard. Sometimes it will go through, but then sometimes it won't. So, I'll just wait for the time, and I still have time to pray for this baby. I'll let you know later what happened, okay? Thank you. Hi, welcome back, welcome back. I'm here to give you an update. Um, oh my god, I just received it right now and I only have 10 minutes break. So 10 minutes break to share with you the result of my first beta. Oh my god. <laughs> you can see that positive. This early. is positive and I got 10.
Mamaya tatry uli natin yung may pregnant na. Kasi ang dami kong binili kahapon, kaya ang talad ko. So, ito yun. Na ito na sa doktor mo to. Is the last or? Yeah, I think so. It's a pregnant. It's a pregnant. Thank you so much. Diba? I'm pregnant. I'm pregnant. Ah, I'm officially pregnant. Hi. So I'm back. And it's final. There's no baby. So, my doctor said um, we're gonna have DNC on Friday and we're hoping to test the sack if it's normal or abnormal to find out why. And he said normally with this age most of my embryo should be normal it's not sinking in yet still for me I don't even want to think about it I just want to move on and be excited for the next one instead of being emotional you know I hope I can skip that process let me just drive home thank you So, I'm home. I should probably get some rest since I have a lot of things to do. But they told me to act the same. Like, it's hard because they want me to be on bed rest until the day of the surgery. And I still need to administer and take all the medication that I'm taking until the day before surgery. It is hard, but I guess this is the process. I should just follow it. So for now, let me take a rest. I'm emotionally tired. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll update you more as soon as I can. Thank you and God bless you. Bye. Come back, be with me. I just wanna be hold you. Time to say goodbye.